Welcome back now to Houston Life. Our next guest is a legend in Texas and throughout the world of football. Yeah, a former Texans defensive coordinator and coach and a Houston football icon dating back to the Oilers. Please welcome Wade Phillips back to Houston Life. It's so great to see you. We were chatting during commercial break. How did you feel when you got this call uh, to return to Houston? Uh, amazing, you know. Uh, you know, I'm a Houstonian. I coached for the Oilers, coached for the Texans. They said, you want to coach for a, pro a professional team in Houston? I said, hey, you got me. So You're in. Yeah, You're I'm in. in all the way. All right, so tell us more about the team, where we can watch it, when the season gets started, all that type of stuff. Yeah, the Roughnecks, uh, the, uh, we're, we're Houston blue and, and uh, Roughneck red. So red and blue are our colors. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the star on top of our uh, old Eric. So uh, it's, it's Houston all the way. Uh, we're going to be starting uh, playing in Houston at TD uh, ECU Stadium, which is the University of Houston Stadium, okay. in, uh, in February. It's a great February. studio. And we were chatting about this logo. We love that it incorporates yeah. the H, the star, the oil, Derek. It is sort of like a nod to the Oilers. Very much. XFL, help break this down for our viewers who might be unfamiliar, because this is something that launched, then sort of, you know, didn't happen, but now it's back. Right. They launched it uh, a couple of years ago, and then COVID came in and killed. Mm. And nobody did anything, <laughs> including us. But uh, uh, so they had to stop, and then... Uh, the Rock, uh, Daryl Johnson, and uh, Dwayne Johnson, and, and his wife, uh, ex-wife, uh, Danny Garcia, bought the league and restarted it. And so, uh, so now we're re restarting the league in, uh, in February. I've always been curious, because I've heard it, it's somewhat different than NFL, right? I mean, the field is somewhat different. What other differences do you see? Well, the field is saying, you know, 53 and a third and 100 yards is, is the okay. length of the field. But uh, there are going to be some different rules. One of them is a kickoff uh, where, where the, the players are five yards apart instead of running into each other, so it's for safety purposes. And uh, the last time they had it, 92% of the kickoffs were returned. The NFL right now, 37%. So it takes that part. Of the, if you watch an NFL game, you, you're going to say, well, they're going to kick off and they're going to be on the 25-yard line because they're sure. going to kick it out of the end zone. Mm -hmm. So we're bringing back that excitement. Then there's some other rules that, that uh, we go for two. You can go for two. You can go for one, two, or three on the extra point. So How do you uh, go for a three? Well, you do it from the 10-yard line. If you're on the 10-yard line, you get three points. If you go from the five-yard line, you get two points. I like you, that. That's yeah. great. That's Yeah, fun. so, I mean, you can be further behind and come back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, it's, uh, it's just... It's an exciting, uh, and may, you know, maybe the NFL will pick it up one of these days. Well, it too. makes for a more exciting game. I think yeah. so, too, and I think for fans who have to sort of stay on their toes to learn the rules of this new game, XFL has eight teams so far, and hopefully right. counting. The new season starts in February of 2023. Wade, let's retrace some of your steps, though. You were defensive coordinator for the Broncos, the Bills, the Texans, the L.A. Rams, head coach for the Broncos, Bills, Cowboys, and interim head coach for the Texans, Saints, Falcons. I mean, you your career highlights are so numerous. I I truly don't even know where to begin, but I've got to think that there are moments, highlights in your life and career that stand out to you. Would you mind sharing those with, with us? Oh, wow. <laughs> I go way back, but, uh, you know, uh, coaching for my dad, I got to coach for my dad with the Oilers mm -hmm. uh, and the Saints for 10 years was really uh, an exciting point for me in my life. and. I'll always treasure that, uh, uh, but I coached uh, uh, most of the places I've been. We won, so that was exciting. And when we were with the Texans, it was the first time they'd ever won a division or a playoff game, and then we did that two years in a row. So that was uh, that was pretty neat. Six times a head coach in the league. I mean, nobody has done that. No. Uh, no. And six times fired as a head coach in the league. <laughs> Nobody's come it close to that either. Kind of comes with it though, doesn't That's it? Right. I mean, kind of comes with the yeah. territory. Well, my dad used to say that. Two kinds of coaches, ones that have been fired and ones that are going to be fired. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, that's part of it. Yeah. So speaking of your dad, your son of legendary coach, Bum Phillips, you're a coach, your son's a coach. So, I mean, it's you guys have become like football royalty at this point. Well, I don't know about royalty, mm -hmm. but we, we, we've lasted in the league, uh, um, you know, uh, well, I was in 42 years in the NFL, so, and my dad was in about 18, and my son's been in 15, so, uh, and... We won the Super Bowl when I was at Denver, and they said, what's better than winning the Super Bowl? 
And I said, seeing my son last year win the Super Bowl with the Rams. So uh, that's pretty exciting. It's got to be incredible. Your son uh, coaches for the Vikings, and you were mentioning that for Christmas, you're going to be spending time uh, with your son and his family. Talk to us just as from a proud dad's perspective. When your son decided to follow in your footsteps, in the, in the footsteps of your father as well, that had to be truly meaningful. It really was because I'd been on the other side. I'd been the son where my dad, uh, when I was coaching with him or coaching football, and then all of a sudden I'm the dad and the son's coaching us. So I saw it from both perspectives and I love it from both. Well, it's so, it's so interesting to get to talk to you because you really, I mean, you have so much history here in Houston and with the game. We're excited to see you start coaching now with the Roughnecks and, and see what you bring to the table here. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to win. <laughs> we're going to play good defense, I can tell you that. Okay. And uh, it's going to be exciting. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun game to watch, but it's going to be family-oriented. I'm hoping to have uh, – I hope they let the kids come on the field after the game, maybe take pictures with the players. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're a little kid, I mean, because I grew up in football and I was able to come see around the players a lot and it influenced me a whole lot, and I would like to be able to do that for, for the youngsters that are watching the game to be able to come out and just get their picture taken with a professional football player. It's well, a big deal. And that would be a huge draw for kids to come to the game with yeah. their families and, like you said, make it a more of a family event. Yeah, that's what we want. Well, Wade Phillips, it's great to see you. Welcome home. Yes. Congrats yes. on the, the brand-new gig, and uh, we know that defense is going to be excellent. That's there your you expertise. Yes. We're going to do that. Great to see you. Have a great holiday. And to stay connected with the Roughnecks and get details on their season, you can go to our website. You'll find a link under the Scene On section of HoustonLife.tv.